Hello. Hello. How you doing? Good. What's your name? Christina. Hi, Christina. How old are you, Christina? 33. 33. How long you been out here for, Christina? About a year. A year. And where are you from? Mayfair. Mayfair. Okay. That's close. Um, how long have you been using for? A couple years. A couple years now? And what would you say started your drug addiction? Percocet. Percocets? How did that transpire? Did you were you using them? Um, uh, were you using them recreational or yeah. you? Yeah, you had got an injury or something or. Yeah, my, yeah. I had broken my ankle. You broke your ankle. Mm. So when when did that transpire? Like 2006. And how old were you? I was like 19. 19. So you. Yeah. So, so you was taking Percocets um, prescribed at 19. Just waiting for the train. You were taking Percocets at 19, and after after that, uh, how long did it take you to start doing hard drugs? Like six years, I was on Percocets for a while. For a while, yeah. And where did you have the prescription for the whole entire six years? No, just like one or two. One or two? Oh, and after your prescription ran out, how did you obtain your Percocets? I had a job. You had a job? So... I bought them. You bought... Who, who did you... Where did you buy them from? I was going to tell you. Um, Mayfair. Mayfair? Oh, so the streets? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, from the Percocets, it led to heroin. The heroin. And how long would you say you've been on heroin for? You said three years? Yeah. Okay. So, what was your childhood like? It was, it was all right. It was good. Would you say you came from a lower class, middle class, or upper middle. class? Middle. Middle class? Yeah. Were your parents active in your life? Yeah, they were. My mom yeah. and dad was. What were some hobbies growing up? Just hanging out. Hanging out? Do, do you have friends? You had a lot of friends <laughs> growing up? Yeah. Yeah. So, were you like a, um, were you like a, a popular person in high school? Kind of. Not like, not, like, not, I hung out with everybody. You hung out with everybody? Yeah. Did you graduate? I got a GED. Got a GED? Okay. And um, how has drugs changed your life, would you say? Well, I'm out here. It, it led to you being out here? Yeah. And you live out here? No, well, I'm in the shelter now. I, I lived out here for a while. Is it safe out here? No, not at all. Not at all? It's very dangerous. Very dangerous. What's the craziest thing you've seen out here? Um, seen uh someone shoot his girlfriend what happened i'm sorry i seen someone shoot his girlfriend a guy shoot his girlfriend a guy shoot his girlfriend wow it's crazy wow and after everything you've seen out here do you want to go back to mayfair and go back to your family yeah i do i'm working on it You're working on it right, right right have you ever tried any recovery programs by chance a couple a couple and how did they work out for you? I don't. I don't like rehab. I don't like being. Yeah, I don't like being there. Yeah. So, how can we develop a plan to kick your addiction? Uh, I'm working with uh, my caseworker now for. Okay. Okay. We're in the works of getting up out of here. This area is crazy. Do you have yeah. friends out here at all? Or? A couple. A couple. And are they in your best interest or? The they, ones that I know, yeah. Yeah. How do you obtain money to get your drugs? I sell works. Sell works? Yeah, I hear a lot of people, a lot of a lot of people out here sell works to, um, you know, get Everybody buys. has a, a different hustle. Yeah. yeah it's, it's really hectic out here, the mm -hmm. stories I hear. Mm -hmm. But, um... <clears throat> 
Now, do you have any contact with your family members? I just started talking to my mom. Just started talking to your mom again? That's good. That's good. Is she in your corner? Is she, yeah. Does she know your predicament? Yeah, she does. That's good. That's good. I'm glad you have someone out here. Not everyone does, you know? Um. Now, what's your favorite color? Black. Black? Okay. Black is beautiful. Black is beautiful. Why is it black? It goes with everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely. Not much. Yeah. So, um, what are three wishes you have? Um, to get out of here, get my son back, and I want to start working. You have a son? Okay. Six. How, how old is your son? Six. Six, he's at. Okay. What was your previous occupation? Um, I worked at Home Depot. Worked at Home Depot? Okay. And what's your, like, dream job? I don't know. I don't know yet. Okay. Yeah. Well, we got to get goal-oriented, you know? It's the only way we're going to make it up out of here. Yeah, I know. Step by step. You're already, you're already in the process, too. You know? Eventually. Um, when's the last time you used? Yesterday. Yesterday? Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, now, how long does it take you to get sick? Uh, maybe like 12 hours. 12 hours? Okay. And what have you done so you wouldn't get sick? I haven't done anything. You haven't done anything? Will you get sick soon? Yeah. Yeah, if you don't <laughs> use... Man, it's really rough out here, you know. Um, now, when you went to recovery, what would they give you? Suboxone. Suboxone. Okay. All right. Well, I'd like to thank you for your time. You've been great. Thank you. I appreciate you, and um, I'm going to pray for you, okay? Thank you. All right. All-time media.